Yahoo! My name is Meek on the Moon, and I'm the VTuber who switched to Linux so you don't have to. Here's my experience. I want to start off by saying that I have zero tech literacy, but I was able to switch from Windows to Linux and then successfully distro hop in just one week. My main hang up with Linux is that while you can get effectively everything to work on it, some things that were made for Windows are going to require a bit of software tinkering to get running smoothly. Now let's get into the nitty gritty of it. On a basic level, I had zero issues installing and working with Linux Mint. My first distro. I was able to do my homework, play most games, call friends, and draw flawlessly. Mint is really beginner friendly, so almost everything that worked on Windows worked on Mint. Here's what didn't. Aside from VTube Studio running smoothly, I sadly lost the iTunes USB connection feature and the Spelt 2 OBS plugin. I had to use a Linux based game capture plugin to capture VGS transparency, and I now have to use my iPhone's Wi Fi connection feature for face tracking instead. However, solutions for these issues are being developed as we speak. Support your local Linux dev. Secondly, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you have a mini demon core in your PC. This is because NVIDIA's proprietary drivers are closed source, meaning it's really hard for Linux devs to properly integrate it into their systems. The sole reason I hopped from Mint to Tuxedo was because Tux had better driver compatibilities, so I can play more graphics and tons of games with no issues. You might have to distro hop to find out what distro works best for you. Thirdly, some programs are just made for Windows, so what do I do? I actually use both Wine and Proton, which are compatibility layers that get Windows programs running on Linux. Proton is through Steam, so it's really quick and really easy to set it up too. I was able to get most emulators, Clip Studio Paint, and 99% of games running near perfectly on Linux thanks to them. 4. No kernel-based anti-cheat games. But why would you want to run those on your precious machine anyways? In conclusion, I did get everything running smoothly in the end but I would be a liar if I said that setting it up wasn't a total drag. For someone inexperienced with tech like me, I was doing hours of researching and troubleshooting a day for just that week. But most Linux users I've come across are really kind and willing to help me in any way that they can. And not only am I VTubing on Linux, but I'm much happier on it too. See my future shirts on the why of my switching to Linux. See ya!